<laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Pat with MattKiteboarding.com here to talk today about the fire fins. I've been riding these all summer long and just going to give you my impressions, what I liked, what I didn't like about them and why they might be right for you. <laughs> Alright, so fire fins, what are they? They're basically a third party fin replacement. They work with basically any board on the market at this point it seems like. Um, they replace the stock fins that the board comes with. They come in a 50 mil, a 35 mil, and a 25 mil. So you got lots of different options of kind of mix and matching fins. Uh, this is depending on what your session calls for that day. Uh, nice part about them too is they just snap right on and off. So super easy to remove, um, swap fins out for traveling wise. Super easy to take your fins off, put them in your board bag. Pack your stuff away, get back, get to the beach and where you're gonna ride, snap your fins right on and you're good to go. Main reason why I swapped to them, one, I wanted to test them out, just to see, we brought them in, I was really curious about them. So I just wanted to test them out and see if it was a good product for our customers to purchase on their end. Um, and the switching between sessions going from more flat water freestyle sessions versus big air in the wave sessions. So for those big air sessions, more in the waves, choppy water, I want 50 mil fins. Uh, for the flat water, riding between the pier heads here, more freestyle, I'd switch down to the 25 mils. They also make kind of an in-between with the 35 mil fins. Hindsight, I probably wish I would've gone with the 35s. The 25s really feel like you are riding completely finless. So if you're looking for still, for that completely finless feel, 25s are probably gonna be what you want. If you want something that's still a little bit extra grip, the 35s are the way to go, but you can still butter that board around without getting caught up. This is gonna show you a quick way of how they snap on and off. I have the 50 mil fins on my board right now. So they this, it's just a pinch on the fin and just give it a little bit of wiggle and they pull right off. Wanna to swap to the 25 mil, just push it down and you'll hear two clicks. And that means it's locked down. If you don't hear those two clicks, it definitely has the potential to fall off. I lost one or two this summer that way. I was swapping between fins and didn't snap it down fully and lost them during my session. So luckily they do sell just replacement fins. So it was easy to just order a new set, get them swapped out. But yeah, just a super quick, easy snap on and off. So, and gets you right back out in the water riding. So I really like the fins. Uh, I definitely would say that they have a little bit less grip than your traditional um, fiberglass or carbon fiber fin. So you do sacrifice a little bit in the grip and probably aerodynamics just because the fin is a little bit chunkier than what a lot of these boards come with stock. So you lose a little bit there, probably on the, a little bit of traction and there's a little bit of efficiency, but I really like the ability to kind of cater my board to my section without having to break out a whole screwdriver set, spend 10, 15 minutes swapping fins. I'm going to snap on off and I'm back in the water. All right, this has been Pat with mattkiteboarding.com and these have been the fire fins. Thanks for checking the video out, guys.